Gradually expanding the tunings you know and use will give breadth and depth to your playing. Atmosphere, as Wade Ward expressed it to John Cohen. Some tunings are sprightly and cheerful. in the open C tuning actually it was tuned up a uh, whole tone to D uh, and some of the tunings were uh, more mournful like uh, Doc Boggs country blues tuning start going through uh, 40 tunings. Now don't worry, we'll do them little by little and we'll do them in groups of related tunings. I'll give each one uh, by the notes uh, from the fifth through the first string. Say the open G tuning will be D, G, B, D, and then a high G. Sometimes they'll be designated by the key names, like the G tuning. Sometimes uh, folk or regional designations, like sawmill tuning. And sometimes uh, simply by the tune, like uh, the Twin Sisters tuning, uh, Little Birdie tuning, uh, as W. Guy Bruce said, or the Cabbage Key or the Shady Grove Key. We're going to use another system that'll help you get the banjo in tune to itself. And this is a four number system. I'll give four numbers with each tuning. And here's how it works. By the way, this system was introduced in the Banjo Newsletter, a, a good magazine that I uh, recommend to all of you. Okay, you start with the fourth string uh, pretty much where you want it. Let's say that's where you want the fourth string. The first number you see will be a five. That means you stop the fourth string at the fifth fret. And you tune the next string up the third string to that note. That's in pretty good tune. The next number you see will be, in this case, a four. That means you note or stop the third string at the fourth fret. And you tune the second string to it. That sounds about right. Now I'm going to intentionally kind of get the first string out of tune. Next number you see will be on the string you just tuned, the second string, stopped at the third fret. That'll be a three. No good. That's low, that's flat, so remembering that note you tuned it up. Try it. Went too far. That sounds about right. And the final thing you do is you stop the first string at the fifth fret. That's the fourth number. So that'll be a five. And that's what you tune the thumb string or the fifth string to. Okay, so here are the numbers again. Five, four, three, five. For the open G tuning. There's another notion I'd like to tell you about here, and that's the notion of noting or chording. Uh, noting, uh, the way the old time banjo pickers have it, is when you stop one string at a time, um, usually. Or hammer, pull. So there you're noting around the G tuning. Some of the tunings that uh, are played in a noting approach uh, don't sound good when they're played open. Uh, they need to have at least one string noted in order to make sense, but we'll get to those later on. Now the other approach is the chording approach. The G tuning you can use for noting or chording. Chording is when, of course, you stop several notes at once to make a chord figure. G, C, G, D7, G7, 
G. All right, let's do Sourwood Mountain as an example of a uh, noting approach. Did you note, no pun intended, that I stopped only one string at a time to get through the tune of Sourwood Mountain? Chickens crowing on Sourwood Mountain, hey de um dum diddle um day. So many pretty girls just can't count them. Hey, de um dum diddle um day. In other words, in that little passage, uh, there was only one string stopped or pulled or hammered or sliding at a time. So you'd say that was noting the banjo for Sourwood Mountain. Now, um, let's see, uh, let's try a, a tune that uses the chord approach. Um, I think Guy Bruce talked about the cabbages, buy them cabbages down, so we'll just run through that a little bit. Now, the noting and the chording approaches sometimes overlap. I don't want to make too uh, strong a distinction between them. Uh, let's use little Maggie as an example. Now, if you'd want to play it uh, with just kind of single notes noted out, it would sound something like this. But you could play something like this. You could play a kind of quasi F chord. Or add another finger. And here you're playing uh, the first fret of the second string, the second fret of the third, and the third fret of the fourth string. Let's do it going from the open G, which is a G chord, to a full F chord. And here you put the little finger down the third fret of the first string. Well, here we went from a noting approach where you stopped just one string at a time to stopping two strings at a time for a certain effect or three, or a full chord. And the way you approach that really depends on how you want the tune to sound.